Hey, I'm Zach, and we are going to do a review of the new Ninebot Mini Pro by Segway next on Now You Know. See how they pack this puppy. Looks like it's a box within a box, which I always like. Seems to minimize damage because these are being shipped from China. Nice nine bot tape here. Upside down. Quality control tape. There, see? All right. What I like is that it has this please read first right here because usually you're itching to get in there. So there's just three steps. Download the nine bot by Segway app, that's important. So just stop right, what you're doing right now, go on either the App Store or, or the uh, Google Play Store and go get that Ninebot by Segway app, it's free. All right, so the first thing they have here is your user manual and warranty. It's fairly well laid out, uh, nothing that you're not gonna already understand. All right, so the first part, this is the knee controller. Set that aside, you're gonna need that in a minute. And as you can see, the main part is right there. You will lift that out. And then there is an accessory box that has the charger. It has the decorative blade thin. So they give you a red one and a gray one. Here's your charger. It's proprietary, so don't think that you can just like throw it away and use a, a USB, you can't. It uses a special one. And then this is gonna be important down the road. This is so that you can fill up the uh, tires. Um, so make sure you put that in a safe place. So we'll put everything back in the box for now. Set that aside. Now ours was made in June of last year. So it's about eight months old. And when it came, it had about 60% battery. So I can't guarantee what you're gonna have, but let's see what it, this one has power up and you can see that immediately it balances itself and I don't know if you can see this but the lights in the back are lit and yep we've got about 60% battery in this one it has some uh, plastic foot covers here to keep it from getting dirty but we'll take that off and the only other thing you need to do now is to attach the knee controller and to do that you flip this out of the way you slide it over the red base, make sure it's well seated, and then flip this back into place. And this is what you're gonna use to turn the unit. So if you've ever ridden on a big Segway, this is just a continuation of the hand controller that you normally would have used. Now your knees are gonna do all of the turning. So now that you've got your app downloaded, you've got the unit together, Let's go give it a shot. So we've paired the Segway with our new app and I just wanna show you that one of the cool things you can do right out of the box is you can drive your Segway over to you. It's a little robot. It has this little easy to use controller right here. All right, so Bobby is going to show us how to ride this thing. So the first thing is you wanna find a nice flat surface and you wanna remember a couple key things. One is that these pads down here only tell the unit to go forward or back. So you might be used to one of those smaller uh, hoverboards where you use your feet, you turn one foot to go forward and one foot back to go the other. That's not what this is gonna do. These pads down here just go forward and back. It's this that is going to tell the unit to turn. So you're gonna use this with your knees to turn the unit left and right. And that's what's gonna take a little while to get used to. So the first thing to get used to is just stepping on the unit. There are arrows right here that point forward, so make sure you always get on from the back of the unit. Put one foot on, it'll beep, and then lift yourself up and put on the second foot. And your, your first temptation is gonna to be to shake your body and be like, oh my God, I'm falling. Just try and trust the unit. It's using its uh, brain to keep you upright. And so if Bobby puts a little bit of forward pressure on his feet, he will go forward. And if he puts a little back pressure on his feet, he will go back. And then if he wants to do a turn, he's gonna bend his knees there a little bit, right? He's got it up a little higher, so it's his thighs, and then the unit will just turn. 
Once you first get the app, you'll go through a little training session with the app and it will limit the speed um, because it doesn't want you to get hurt in the beginning. So just kind of go through it, ride around on it, um, and before long, it'll start raising the speed limit. It'll go from, I think, uh, three mile an hour speed limit up to six and then up to 10. So within about half an hour, you'll be up to the full speed limit. So now when Bobby's riding it, I don't know if you can see this, but it's gonna tell you the speed that you're going and how much battery life is left. So this is a really cool app. It tells you which way you're pointing, how fast you're going, and how much battery life is left. And there's really good battery life on this uh, unit. We think so far from our testing that you're going to get about 25 kilometers or about 10 miles of range. And top speed so far seems to be 10 miles an hour. Now if you see Bobby has got the knee bender thing up a little bit high, like above his knees, you can do that if that's comfortable for you. You can also go um, is down as far as it'll go and that's for him it's slightly below his knees. I like it down low, it gives I think a little bit quicker response. Um, as you can see he can do a full 360 all in place which is really neat. And it's got the full battery indicator on the front to show you how, what battery status you've got. It also shows that we are Bluetooth connected. And if the room gets dark, these front two headlights will turn on automatically. This is where you're gonna charge it. This just folds up and the charge port's right there. And when Bobby turns around, you'll see that there are lighting options. And right now we've got it set to full color breath, but we can change that. Let's change it to the twins. So that's the twins. You can see two different colors on there. Or we can change it to full color vector. So there's tons of lighting options. You can choose the colors you want. You can choose what it's gonna do. This is alarm lamp mode one. You can turn on and off the headlights. You can turn on the brake light. So that way you can decide like what it's gonna do as you're driving along at night. You can even just shut them off. And those are pneumatic tires, so uh, they will they feel really nice as you go over a bump. They, they take a little bit of that bump, as opposed to the, the cheaper hoverboards, which are solid plastic wheels. When you hit a bump on those, you really feel the entire road underneath you. So it's, it's kind of nice. All right, so if you want to be able to charge your Segways on the go, you can get an inverter. This one costs about $30 on Amazon. You go back here, and on the Tesla, they've got the 12-volt outlet in the back. Many cars do nowadays. Plug it in there, then plug in our charger, and we are charging. Charging on the go. We hope you enjoyed this review of the Segway 9Bot Mini Pro. If you liked it, please comment and leave uh, us some thoughts below, maybe some questions that you have about the unit, we'll try and get to those. Also, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more reviews, please tell us what kind of things you want reviewed, and we'll try and do that too. Thanks, now you know.